Solidarity markets are opening all over the world. The word solidarity might appear to refer to certain political movements from the past and have a negative feel for some. However, if we look further than the name, we find a concept that truly promotes togetherness and kindness. At the moment, solidarity markets can be found in Morocco, Canada, various countries in South America and also in Puglia in southern Italy, but they are growing around the world daily. They operate in a similar way to food banks, but are run by not-for-profit charities, demonstrating how leftover and excess produce can create food and meals which can be donated within neighbourhoods and communities. The scheme works whereby you can adopt a family in your local area to support them through hard times or just donate goods to shops and businesses that display a sign to say they are participating in the scheme. People that wish to donate can just pop into the shop and leave goods there. It's similar to charity shops but for food and perishable goods. Folks that are entitled to claim the donated goods prove they are eligible by showing a card, rather like an ID card. It's a great scheme and involves the smaller businesses in a community. Donated food doesn't have to be in tins and packets. If you grow your own fruit and veg or have an allotment, then perhaps consider donating what you don't use. Many times the race is on to pick, preserve, pickle and freeze food before it goes past its sell-by date. In this way, the community can share and nothing goes to waste. Many fruit and veg growers were penalised in the past and couldn't sell their goods to supermarkets because the bananas were the wrong shape or the apples were the wrong colour. The memo came from the top, but Mother Nature didn't get the memo or chose to ignore it. Healthy fruit and veg grows naturally the way it chooses to and not to specifications and proportions decided by governmental bodies. These veg growers now have an outlet for their produce with a meaningful, worthy cause to boot. There is also the solidarity economy, which consists of community farms, swap shops, cooperative housing, community lands and other neighbourhood initiatives. Everyone participating is entitled to voice their opinions whilst respecting and upholding nature and the environment without exploitation in the realisation that sharing and cooperation outweigh division and individualism. By working together in this, we can overcome the systems currently undermining those values. Basically, in layman's terms, the needs of everyone, no matter what their circumstances, can be met without doing any harm to anyone or anything. It sounds like the game set and match of a win-win situation.